everybody. If you remember, my name is Rachel and I am the public health nutritionist for the Cambridge Public Health Department. And in these videos, we are talking about the harvest of the month or a different food for each month of the year that you can find locally in Massachusetts. For March's harvest of the month, I am so excited because we are talking about dairy foods. So we've got yogurt and milk and cheese and lots of fun to have with them. So let's get started. All right, so let's kick this off with some fun facts. Number one, did you know that cows drink about 35 gallons of water every day? Just for comparison, if you filled up your whole bathtub right up to the tippity top, that's about 35 gallons. And a cow will drink all of that water in just one day. Number two, did you know that in 1856, French scientist Louis Pasteur discovered that if you heat liquids to a high temperature, you can actually kill off a lot of the bacteria that can make us really sick. This process is called pasteurization after that French scientist. And we use it even today to help protect the purity and the flavors of the milk that we enjoy. Number three, did you know what the favorite kind of cheese or the most popular kind of cheese is in the United States? It's cheddar. What's your favorite cheese? And lastly, did you know that cows actually can't sweat at all? So instead, they lose their excess heat through their breath. Very cool. Okay, so for our snack today, we are making something truly simple and really delicious, a yogurt parfait. So we just have, really it's three ingredients. I have four here because I have two different kinds of fruit, but you need yogurt. So this is just a vanilla unsweetened yogurt. And then I have some granola that we're gonna put right on top. And then I have some blueberries and some cut up bananas. So you can use whatever kind of yogurt you have at home, whatever kind of fruit you like best, but um, blueberries and bananas are some of my favorite. So we are first, like we always do, gonna wash our hands for about 20 seconds in some warm, soapy water. Get those hands nice and clean. And then as soon as we're done with that, we're gonna move on to putting our parfait together. So I just grabbed a jar, you can use a glass or anything like that that you have at home, and a spoon for my yogurt. So we're just gonna layer these ingredients in one at a time, and we're just gonna put a little bit as we go. So I'm gonna start with our yogurt. All right, put a couple scoops in the bottom. All right, and then I'm gonna put some of my fruit in. Okay, and then a sprinkle of our granola on top. Adds a nice crunch to everything, which is really good. Perfect. All right, and then we're just gonna do that again until we run out of ingredients. So, let's go. And we are all set to enjoy this delicious looking parfait. So today we're gonna to learn how to use a box grater to grate cheese at home. So first what we'll need is a box grater, like this one, a block of cheese and a plate or a cutting board to catch the cheese as we grate it. Remember that the grater part is sharp so be careful and keep your fingers safely away from the holes. 
always check with an adult before using one of these to make sure that you're being as safe as you can be. So this is really simple. All we're gonna do is grab our block of cheese and rub the cheese back and forth against the greater holes while holding the handle to keep it from moving around. Just keep grating until you have enough cheese for whatever you're making. Pizza, anyone? All right, well, that is all the time that we have for today. So I hope that you all had some fun. I hope that you're all looking forward to trying some different dairy foods this month, maybe making your own parfait at home. And I just wanna say thank you from your friends at Cambridge Emotion and the Cambridge Public Health Department for tuning in and listening with us. All right, I'll see you next month.